Alright Eric, we've uh, left your listing and we've come down to Division Street, right. which uh, even on a Monday afternoon uh, has got quite a bit of traffic. We've got people walking up and down. It looks like people are starting to file into uh, some of the cafes down the street and some of the outdoor dining areas. Uh, got cars zipping up and down. We've got people on bikes. We've got girls and guys walking around That's right. today. Young girls. You know, Young girls. Uh, we've got some old guys. So it's uh, you know a very diverse neighborhood, right? To use a catchphrase or a, a buzzword. Uh, very diverse. Uh, Wicker Park is just awesome. Uh, you have the gentrification aspects. You have the old school aspects. Uh, you have old corner bars that are sticking it out, uh, and new trendy you know wine boutiques and everything you you want. I'm surprised by how many people we meet that come to the city, they move here, you know, they live in Lincoln Park, and then they'll come to Wicker Park, they'll be our clients, they're looking in Lincoln Park, but they'll, they'll come to Wicker Park because of friends or something, then they'll come back to us and go, man, if I, you know, if I didn't want to live right on the lake, I'd, I'd live there. Uh, they, they had no idea this place existed, and, and I think a lot of people in Chicago still don't really realize what, what the heck's going on over here yeah. on Division. Part of why we wanted to come out here today, we actually have some relatively new condos back behind us. Let's talk a little bit about the market. Uh, you've been, uh, you said you've been listing some homes over here, so you've probably right. been keeping an eye on what's selling, what prices are like, uh, things of that nature. So, what comes to mind? Well, I think uh, my partner and I figured something out, and we saw that Wicker Park, uh, and we're talking about basically the Kennedy Expressway to uh, Western on the Western border and North Avenue on the north and going to basically Division uh, is considered Wicker Park but you know you spill into East Village a little south of Division sure. we always include that uh, especially two blocks within Division uh, has a lot of transactions okay two to three bedroom condos which are probably the bulk of the market in Chicago uh, there is a ton of transactions that happen over the six months compared to Lincoln Park and Lakeview. In fact, uh, Lakeview, that's just condo crazy. I mean, there's just tons and tons of, uh, you know, the high-rise buildings on the, uh, on the lake, uh, so you get ton tons of units. Uh, you don't get that here in, in Wicker Park yet. Wicker Park and West Town in general uh, has, in West, West Town compared to Lakeview, they have very similar numbers of transactions, you know, well into the 400s, like 450 units traded uh, in the last six months. So that's kind of stunning, actually. So when you take West Town, uh, the action's here. I mean, things are happening, people are buying and selling. So if you're a realtor, you should really know what's going on here, uh, especially if you're on the north side. And those numbers, I mean, were, were what drew us to, to make sure we knew what was going on. And we also noticed we were getting a lot more calls from people that were buying and selling in the area. Uh, maybe last year, and not so much. This year, it, we've, we've gotten tons of opportunities uh, to uh, meet with people, uh, tell them if you know it's possible to list and sell their places at their numbers. Uh, we've been very successful with the, with the listings that we've gotten. So. Can you generalize the housing stock a little bit, just in terms of, is it mainly you know, infill three flats and things like that on side streets? What are we looking at? Uh, you have a very uh, even mix of renovated uh, three sort of unit homes, workers' cottages that have been made two flats, mm -hmm. like two units. Uh, so existing properties uh, that have been around even since the turn of the century. Uh, and then you have an explosion also of brand new construction along Division, which brings your uh, total unit numbers up because they're little larger buildings. You have like, you know, 12 to 16 unit buildings. Uh, so there's a lot of that. And that tends to trend towards contemporary, uh, which you can't find in every neighborhood. You know, you can't go to Lincoln Square, for instance, and find, you know, contemporary new construction. You gotta come here. Uh, so the mix, I think it's, it's a 50-50 of the newer construction since, you know, 99, and, and on, and uh, existing uh, 